The Yamaha SLG200S is a silent, disassembling travel guitar with a striking aesthetic appeal. It's an acoustic electric guitar that's suitable for practice sessions and live performances. It has a significantly lower natural volume than an acoustic guitar, but has all the benefits of an electric guitar, like a headphone jack, an auxiliary jack, an SRT preamp, along with a piezo pickup system. But is it worth the price tag? Let's find out. Hello and welcome. This is Milan from Musician Wave and today I'll be talking about the Yamaha SLG200S Silent Guitar. This is an acoustic electric hybrid guitar with a considerably lower natural volume that is great for practice sessions if you're living in a small apartment or don't want to disturb the family. It has beautiful aesthetics, along with a great design that includes all the necessary features of a classic electric guitar. Make sure to stick around and see this guitar in action while also hearing my thoughts about the SLG200S. We all know that practice is vital for guitarists. However, not everyone has the ideal conditions to execute practice sessions whenever they please. The Yamaha SLG200S is great for this situation. It has a lower natural volume, as well as the option to plug in a headphone set, making practice sessions viable and noise-free. The reason why it's called a silent guitar is because it has no guitar top and back. Therefore, the strings don't amplify as much as they would on a classical acoustic guitar, resulting in a significantly lower sound output. As I mentioned, this is a hybrid guitar, meaning that it does have built-in electronics. The SRT, or Studio Response Technology Preamp, delivers high-quality sound that mimics an actual acoustic guitar recorded in a professional studio environment. Plus, it also has a piezo pickup system. It features a traditional on and off switch, a volume and blend dial along with treble, bass, and auxiliary parameters. It even has an onboard effects dial with two reverbs and one chorus effect and an onboard chromatic tuner, which is pretty neat. In terms of design, this is a beautiful piece that most people will stop to look at the first time they see it. While the bodiless design is a treat to look at, it's also quite portable. It has a disassembling nature, meaning you can take off the top part and store it in a safe and compact space using the screws on the strap buttons. In terms of material, it has a maple frame, a rosewood fingerboard, and a mahogany neck. All in all, it's made out of high-quality materials that live up to its price tag. And while you may think that playability is compromised due to its weird design, it actually sits well and delivers performance-wise. The Yamaha SLG200S is powered by an adapter or two AA batteries. It has an impressive range of connectivity options starting with a line-out. It also has an auxiliary input and a headphone jack. You can basically connect this guitar to your headphones, external speakers or an amp. This means that this guitar is also great for live performances. When it comes to the price range, the SLG200S carries a lavish price tag. It's still considered a premium guitar, hence the steep price tag. However, in terms of design, controls and features, it sort of makes up for it in a way.
It is a rather unique guitar to have around, so naturally the price range isn't all that surprising. There are a couple of things I really like about this guitar, starting with its aesthetics. Now, the bodiless design is certainly a treat to look at. Not only that, but it's also quite portable and lightweight. It has easy to navigate controls, and the neck profile really gives off that premium guitar vibe. There are minor setbacks, of course. The guitar input is weirdly placed unless you don't mind having a guitar cable going through your stomach. Also, the frame can get a bit loose over time. Overall, the Yamaha SLG200S is worth the price tag depending on how and what you use it for. For seasoned guitar players, it's a great practice and travel guitar if you don't want to make a lot of noise or live in a small apartment. However, for beginner guitar players, I'd recommend something a little more simplistic and on the more affordable side. Thank you all for watching, make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video. And as always, until next time.